Hello, everybody. Hi, and welcome to the first power tip that we're going to share with you. Today's power tip is about Simon Sinek's、um, TED Talk that we sent to you earlier on, and it was the TED Talk about how great leaders inspire action. And he talked about the golden circle, where you first start with why. Then you describe how before even telling people what is it that you're doing, creating, or selling, right? So, hands up, or you can nod your head quietly if you had secretly or not so secretly rolled your eyes when people tell you you need to start with why, you need to get clear on why do you do what you do, and you're like, yeah, whatever. Because we were one of those people too, and here's the thing: the reason why that question didn't sit quite well with you is because it's not a specific, or、um, it's not a specific or a clear enough question. Now, to get clear answers, you need to ask a clear question. To get powerful answers, you need to ask powerful questions. So, the missing two words behind that question is why. It matters. Okay, why does your story matter? Why does your service matter? Why does the, your product matter? And to help you get even super super clearer on how to use this tool, here are the next three steps that we're gonna take together. Firstly, you're gonna think about why it matters to you. Okay, so if you're thinking on behalf of the company, you can think of it as why it matters to your company, why it matters to your brand, why it matters if you're writing a book, why it matters to, you know, you the storyteller, why it matters to you. So why does your story matter to you?、Mm-hmm. So we often go around telling the story of、um, our cycling journey around the world. Why we went about asking as many people as possible one question: What is your dream? And why it mattered to us was really because when we were younger, nobody asked us the question. Nobody asked us what our dreams are. Not the typical dreams of you know becoming a teacher, a doctor, the standard path, but nobody asked us what we really want to do in life.、Mm-hmm. Okay, the second step you're going to take is to think about why your story, your product, your service, your book, your matter matters to them. So them is the person who is consuming your product, your content, your story, the person who's listening to you, the person who's giving you their attention. Why does this matter to them? Why does your story matter to them? And we end up telling this story of our journey around the world to potential customers, to anybody and everybody that we meet. And it's always this story that truly connects them to us. Because you know why? Because everybody who started a business started it with a dream. They started with a vision. They wanted to achieve something. They wanted their business to achieve something. And because we went around the world, activating dreams and inspiring dreams, and in doing so, we broke through some obstacles and boundaries and achieved that big, bold, audacious dream. And that is what connects us to them. And it is why it matters to them. This why this story actually matters to them. The third step you're gonna take is you're gonna figure out why it matters to us, okay? And when I say us, I mean the world, okay? The world that consists of you, yourself, your brand, your company, your book, your product, and them, your customers, your investors, your community of fans, the community that you operate business in, and the larger world, planet Earth. Think about that. <laughs> So why does your story, your product, your service, your message matter to us, the world? What change are you making? Why do we need to care?、Mm-hmm. And so when we began telling this this one story of our cycling journey around the world and how we went about inspiring dreams, it rippled from one person to two to three to four to five, and we saw the impact that this story that went spreading. Was making so this is why it matters to us. Those people who are inspired to first figure out what their dreams are and then make their dreams into a reality end up making positive changes in their community, and that community end up becoming a better community in the world. That is what we meant by the ripple effect, and because of that ripple effect, our clients who are change makers, leaders of conscious companies, just great inspiring people 
recognize that in us. And this brings us to the amazing sweet spot, right? So where the intersection is between your why, your personal why, your company why, your customers, your investors, your communities why, and the why for the world, that is the story, the capital T, H, and E. The story that you need to share. The story that's going to get people excited about what you're offering. And the story that's going to activate your audience. So to recap, start with why before you tell people how. And then before you even share with people what. But even before you do all of that, you need to figure out why it matters to you. Why it matters to them. And why it matters to us as a community, as the world. And where all three of them intersect. That's your sweet spot for your story. So good luck with it. And if you feel like, you know, you got a good sense of where this is going, you tried it out, but you're not quite sure, you just want to be super crystal clear, then we invite you to come join us at Amplify. We're going to use mindset tools to help you get over those inner doubts and fears and nigglies, right? We're going to use emotional support tools like essential oils as well as amazing, amazing nourishing food that we're going to prepare personally using recipes from my great, great, great grandmother as well as spiritual tools to help you systematically distill out this particular sweet spot right here. And for those of you, if you really figure out all of this and the story is not coming out from your mouth, it's just not coming out, then please come to our retreat. Yeah. Right. We would love to hear what you got away from this training. We'll love to hear exactly what your sweet spot is. So feel free to write us back, email us, share it on Facebook, whatever feels good for you to do. And until the next video, see you soon.